What's up, everyone? It's J Dog once again here in J Dog's DVD dungeon. I'm sitting in the dungeon as we speak right now. It's a little late right now, so I'm gonna keep it on the down low. I'm gonna keep it a little quieter. But just sitting here, chilling out, relaxing, watching a movie. Got a little Charles Bronson going on. Little Murphy's Law. I picked it up the other day, checking it out. I figured I'd finish off my uh, Slasher Collection Volume 8. Get it all out there for you guys to see so I could start on something new. But first off, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Dana at Blood Type Magazine, aka Evil Dead Chick. I don't know. It's excited to uh, get my copy of the magazine once it comes. She's sending me one for free, so I don't know. Get a hold of her support the magazine. It's always good to see fans doing things in, in the world of horror. I don't know, even if you're not making any money off it, eh? why not try to contribute all you can? But it's a shout out to Dana, Blood Type Magazine. I don't know. First off, I got a few DVDs here I'm going to show you guys. Like this one. I had to save it for the final video. Right there, it's the godfather of them all. Mario Bava's Bay of Blood, a.k.a. Twitch of the Death Nerve. Well, this is early 70s, uh, kind of a giallo slasher cross. It's one of the first body count movies. has a lot of memorable kills in this. Like A lot of the stuff you see in the first couple Friday the 13th you see in this. Like the spear kill, double spear kill, just the name one. Yeah, this movie starts off kind of slow, but picks up really good towards the end. A lot of, a lot of memorable kills if you're a fan of slasher films. That's the one that kick-started it all, baby. That's before Bob Clark's Black Christmas, Carpenter's Halloween, any of that shit. Bava started it all, man. Is there anything those Italians can't do? Make good pizza, make good spaghetti, good slashers, zombie movies, sleaze, they do it all, man. Can't say enough about those Italians. I don't know. Here's a couple of... I don't, know, I don't think they're going to be any good, but... Picked them up on the cheap. I never even heard of this. Slaughterhouse Massacre. two ninety nine. That's why I bought it. Zellers. Half-naked check on the front. You look at the back, though. Give you a picture there. Like the killer there. Looks like they got the fucking guy that did the effects for the prey to do this killer as well. Looks like they just smeared shit across his face again, but... Uh, two ninety nine. Yeah, check it out. Um, scariest film of the year, one of the reviews says at the back. Must be the only fucking film he watched, but... Um, <laughs> here's another one. Probably a big piece of shit, but... This is Jackhammer Massacre, two ninety nine. Self destruction is only the beginning. Ooh, that's quite the tagline. Never forget that one. But yeah, I don't know. Another little tagline on the back. If you can believe that. Move over, Leatherface. Here comes the Jackhammer Massacre. Fuck, please. Oh, I'm lucky if I even watch this movie. It's still in the plastic, but. Two ninety nine. Yeah, maybe get all loaded up one night and check it out. I don't know. To finish off my little segment here, I'm gonna go with a few independent films. I can never say enough about independent horror. That's where our next good idea is gonna come from, because if we leave it up to the studios, all we're gonna get is shit remakes anyway, so gotta give love to the independent directors. This first one I got, this is from a couple years ago. This is the janitor, an epic of custodial proportions. Um, this is this is a decent film actually. Like, I had fun. I had a lot of fun watching this. It's kind of kind of a trauma, a little bit of a trauma movie. Actually, it has a cameo by Lloyd Kaufman, and then he plays a bum in the movie. Yeah, it's pretty funny what happens to him. Twice. I don't want to give it away. You guys got to watch it. Yeah, uh, it's got some got some hot chicks in a, in a college house. 
and it follows two characters, Lionel, and he's a janitor. He works for a corporation, the Generico Corporation. <laughs> I like the name. <laughs> and his little, uh, his older buddy, his workmate, Mr. Grobo. Yeah, they live in a closet at the place, clean up. I don't know, ridiculed all the time by the rest of the staff, but little does everyone know, Lionel's been going around taking everyone out. A little slashing action. He's been killing everyone up. We've got a couple incompetent cops investigating the whole thing. That's pretty funny. Lionel's grabbing people right, like right behind the guy's back and shit. Pretty comical, like it's not serious or anything. That's it's fairly funny. Like, like the kill scenes, you <laughs> splatter blood all over the place. Reminds you a lot of like some early that Peter Jackson would have done. Real splatter fest, but. This is the janitor. If you like independent horror, a lot of splatter, pretty funny stuff, check it out. Next one I have here is a friend of mine on the Slasher Club actually made this movie. This is DSK Productions, Slashing Prices, written and directed by Rick Fusselman. As you can see, I got it signed. Thanks for the support. Enjoy this shit. Rick of the Dead. Yeah, for an independent, no-budget movie. I really, really enjoyed this. Like, man, the character is hilarious. Like, John Lee Janeri is a ex-musician, washed up, invested all his money into a music, like, DVD store. I don't know. It's going under. He's got a couple of clowns working behind the till. They played by uh, Brian Johnson, and Rick Fu Mackle. I don't know. They do a real good job in their roles. It's just funny stuff. And uh, Rick in the Dead, he plays uh, the killer. He just happens to be this half wit in with his mom looking for some music, and uh, they're trying to. I can't remember what they were doing, but it ends up he gets acid thrown in his face burns them up, you know, sticks to the whole slasher formula, that's your backstory, killer comes black, killer comes back, slashes, stalks, takes everyone out, some real hilarious stuff in this, uh, with, with John, his character, you know, like the one scene where he's hiding from his uh, regional manager, I think it is, he's hiding up in the roof, roof raft, rafters, that made me laugh, yeah. John Lee Janeiro, played by Ace Wheeler, in a lot of uh, Rick's other movies, but that's for another day. I'm going to do a whole video segment, like a whole show on the DSK movies, since I have them all. Talk about all of them in their own, but awesome, no-budget slasher movie. If you haven't seen it, buy it. I think you can uh, get a hold of Rick on uh, MySpace at Slashing Prices, DSK Productions, it's not hard to find. And last but not least, there's a lot of buzz going around with this movie right now. It's just going to be re-released. Finally a real release on DVD, I guess. I bought this right straight from the director himself. But this is uh, Ryan Nicholson's Gutter Balls. I warned you not to go bowling tonight. Like, nice maniac ripoff on the tagline. I love that. You can see that, that it's a Balls Out Uncut Edition. I don't know if anyone's seen the one that's being released right away. This is quite a bit different. A lot of different look to it. Like, this is one of the early copies. I got this almost a year ago already. The soundtrack on this is phenomenal. I hear the other, uh, the new release has a different soundtrack, so... I don't know if you like old 70s music. This is the one you're going to want. The other one's not going to compare from what I hear. But, yeah, this has got a lot of memorable deaths in this. Uh, we got a uh, contest going on right now in Slasher Club, actually. You can win this. They also have an excellent interview up right now with one of the stars of this, Dan Ellis. So, if you're a fan of gutter balls, go to slasherclub.com. Check it out good interview there but I can't say enough about this film but I'm almost running out of time so I gotta get going 
I'll talk about this another day. I'll do a whole review on it. But this is J-Dog signing off for J-Dog's DVD Dungeon. This is my Slasher Collection Volume 8. Finally done, so hope you all have a good night. Peace out.